Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the maximum speed at which the car with mass m can pass over the top point A of the vertical curved road and still maintain contact with the road. If the car maintains the speed, what is the normal reaction the road exerts on the car when it passes the lowest point B on the road? Now if the car is at point A and we are assuming if we are solving this problem by the normal and tangential coordinate system so we have to define our coordinates so this will be the tangent to the path with our tangential direction and towards the center of the curvature is our normal direction and if the car is here and if, if the wheels are just touching the surface then the normal force will be equal to zero at that particular instant so here the weight of the car will be acting vertically downward this will be mg and the normal force will be acting vertically upward but that normal force will be equal to zero if it is just in contact with the surface. So now if we apply at point A if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis is summation of forces along the normal axis is equal to man. So as we can see that only mg force, the weight is acting vertically downward which is the positive direction. So we will write mg and this will be equal to mass and an and an is v squared divided by r. So mass will cancel out and the velocity at point A from this equation we can write that v squared will be equal to gr or we can say that velocity will be equal to gr square root. So this is that velocity at point A uh, which was required and then in the problem further says that if the car maintains this speed what is the normal reaction the road exerts on the car when it passes the lowest point B on the road. So at point B if the car is here and if it is in contact with the surface then we will have that normal force which will be acting vertically upward and its weight will be acting vertically downward and this will be again our tangential direction and the normal direction will be towards the center of the curvature. So again if we apply the at point B, if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis is equal to man. So now as we can see that mg is acting in the negative n direction so I will write minus mg plus n and this is equal to man and an is v square divided by r and now we know the velocity the problem statement says that the car maintains that particular speed at from point a so we can write that this is minus or we can write this normal force which is required so we can write that this normal force is mv squared divided by r plus mg and we can replace this v so v square is gr right so i will write i will replace this by gr and g will cancel out so the normal force comes out to be two times the weight of the car so at point b n is equal to 2 mg if it is maintaining, if it is moving with this same velocity from the point A. So this is the solution of uh, this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this problem. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from engineering dynamics.